All right, welcome to XFIT Daily, everybody. I'm Michael Paterino. Let's get started with our warm up. Those of you at home, get up out of those seats and let's get going. We're gonna do our toe touches and we're gonna reach up into the sky for our warm ups today. Get ourselves nice and loose. And today's workout is gonna be called the Reaper. It's gonna consist of lunges. Floor bridges, burpees, crunches, and starfish planks. As always, each exercise 30 seconds, and we're gonna do it three times through. Working out with me today, I have Aaron and Aisha. All right, we have five more seconds left here of our warm up. Toe taps reaching to the sky. And we're gonna go into our lunges here. Feet together, we're gonna start going forward with our right leg and lunge. Don't step out too far. We're gonna go out far enough so you maintain a 90 degree angle at our knee. Let that other uh, knee come about an inch or so above the ground. Don't let it actually touch the floor. And remember to keep your knees in line, not going past your toes here. 10 more seconds. And with your arms, you can keep them out to the sides, straight in front of you, wherever you like, whatever's comfortable. And onto our floor bridges. We're gonna work on our lower back here. We'll rectus spinae, our opposite of our abs. We go here. And we're gonna get our core a nice little workout in there at the same time. Remember, keep thrusting straight up and sucking that belly button into our spine. A nice isometric contraction in our core. We have 10 more seconds left. And then we're gonna go on to everybody's favorite workout, the burpee. Full body and cardio blast here, here we go. Remember, starting with our burpees, we start standing up, drop down into a push-up position, do our push-up into a squat, and explode into the sky. And remember, for those of you at home, if you can't go down all the way and do the push-up, just drop the legs out straight behind you, and that'll suffice. Eventually, you want to work in those push-ups. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Five seconds. All right, now we're gonna work out our abs here with our crunch. We get down, we wanna eliminate that arch in our lower back. Tilt our pelvis, our, our pelvis, our hips, straight up into the sky. Hands on our thighs, and we're gonna crunch up. Lifting our torso straight up off of the ground, and making sure our hands slide up to our knees. Look right up at the ceiling, and really feel that crunch right in our abs. Here we go. We have 10 seconds left. Keep crunching, keep working. Five more seconds. Really feel that in our abs here. All right, and onto our starfish plank. Now we're gonna focus on our obliques. The side here. In our side plank position, arms straight up, legs straight up. Look right up into the sky. Really keep that contraction going on there in our core. 15 seconds aside here, we got five more left. Now we're gonna switch onto our left side. Again, try to make ourselves as wide open as possible here. Really using our balance and our core to stabilize ourselves and keep us up here in this position. We got five seconds left. Now we're gonna go on to our lunges now. Starting from the top. Pick up the speed a little bit now on this one. Our second time through here. Working at our quads, hamstrings, glutes, and our calves. As well as our core to maintain a nice stable upright position. 10 seconds left. We can shuffle those feet a little faster. Five more seconds. And onto our floor bridge. 
Drop down. Remember to keep those arms nice and flat on the floor. And press all the way up, contracting our abs and lower back. Nice isometric contractions here. Really flex, really pose at the top, squeezing in your, your abs as tight as you can. And we have five seconds left. Keep going, reach up as high as you can there. And on to our burpees. We go again, remember, start standing, knock down to our push up, and explode up. Try to get up as high as you can into the sky for added leg workout. And again, those of you at home, if you can't get the push up in, just simply squat straight back out and explode up into the sky there. Nice. See, we got five more seconds left. So if you're working one push up this last time, you can't get it, get it. Do it nice. All right, and on to our crunches. Very good. Here we go. Make these crunches a little bit harder on yourself. If you have a nice towel or a ball, squeeze that in between our legs here. It'll kind of cut out our hip flexors. Make sure we're concentrating all of the weight and all of the exercise and movement in our abdominals. To crunch us up, lift that torso up off the floor. Another way to make it a little more difficult Put our arms out to the side for some weight. Straight behind us for the hardest version here. All right, onto our starfish plank. Work out those obliques. Open yourself up nice and wide. Get as far open as you can here without losing your balance. You really feel that in the core. Five more seconds and we're switching sides here. Here we go, onto our left side. Again, look up at the ceiling to make it a little more intense here. Added difficulty. Here we go. Five more seconds left. And onto those lunges. Last time through here. Again, if you want to increase it, make it more hard. Jump. Get the cardio blast in. And increase that difficulty. Get the heart rate going. Your respiration, your breathing up. Burn more calories. All right, five more seconds of lunges here. And we're gonna go on to our floor bridge. All right, here we go. Floor bridge. Drop down. Arms flat. And press up, make a nice plank with your body here. As we squeeze our abs and our hip flexors on the way up. Uh, we have eight seconds left here. Keep going. Two more seconds. And onto our burpees. Last time through. Really make them count here. Nice press. Explode at the end. As high up into the sky as you can. Nice and ready for our crunch right after this here. 10 more seconds. Full body workout here. Five more seconds. And onto the crunch. Those abs. Again, remember, make it a little harder on yourself. Point the toes up, paper towel or a ball, squeeze that between your legs, cut out your hip flexors as much as you can so they're not helping you with this exercise, and crunch straight up. Added weight, arms out to the side, or straight behind you for the most. Five more seconds. And onto our starfish plank. Right side first. Up. Extend. Really reach that leg and that arm as high up into the sky as you can. Five more seconds. Keep holding. 
We're gonna switch sides now, here we go. Last one, last exercise. 15 seconds here on this side. You have 10 left. Keep working. Don't quit just yet, five more seconds. Really feel that. All right, and we're done. Good work, guys. Very nice. Good job. That was the Reaper workout. You know, most people lose weight by simply watching their calories. But the only way to keep that weight off is by exercising. All right, so subscribe to our channel and work out with us every day. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mike Paterino. I thought the Reaper was very challenging. I could definitely feel the burn in my arms, and it was a really good mixture of some cardio and strength training. Um, I didn't like the burpees. Um, they're very challenging. Um, I opted for the easy option without the push-up, but you know it's good to start working on it more, so I will be able to do the, the push-up eventually. My favorite exercise was the starfish plank. Um, although it was very challenging, um, I really enjoyed feeling the burn in my shoulder, and I liked working on my balance. The most beneficial would be the one that I least like, which would be the burpees. Um, yeah, just the combination, you know, jumping down and the push-up and yeah, the working your ab muscles as well.